Hello everyone, Mr. O here. Uh, today I will be demonstrating the multiplication board. As with all the other videos in this series, I'll demonstrate how to use the Montessori material that you would find in the classroom. Students, hopefully this will help you recognize it, remember the procedure, and familiarize yourself with it. And secondly, I will demonstrate how to use the material that we have shared with you so that you can practice your Montessori math at home. Let's begin. All right, want to get the laptop out of there. All right, so here I have the multiplication board. You'll see the numbers 1 through 10 along the top. And right here we have a thin slot where we'll be able to slide a card into. Now to demonstrate, I am going to practice my four tables. So to begin, I'll take out my red disc, which we'll use to indicate the multiplier. And then I will find the 4 in my number card. So here's my 4. I'm going to go ahead and slide that 4 in through that slot that I already showed you. And that's going to show us what our multiplicand is. You can see it here more closely. Our multiplicand. And I'll use this red disc to show what our multiplier is. So to begin with, now again, I'll open my math booklet so that I can record. And I hope that you'll be able to see. I'll use a marker so it's a little bit thicker. All right, my first will be four, one time. One, two, three, four. 4 one time is 4. See it, say it, write it. 4 is my multiplicand, 1 is my multiplier, and my product is 4. 4 times 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 times 2 is 8. See it, say it, write it. 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 3. I knew that was 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. 4 times 3 is the product 12. See it, say it, write it. 4 times 4, 13, 14, 15, 16. 4 times 4 is 16. See it, say it, write it. 4. And I would go on and continue doing 4 times 5, 4 times 6, 4 times 7, 4 times 8, 4 times 9, 4 times 10. I'll go through and do that entire process for each number and in the end I will have a times table for each multiplicand with the multipliers 1 through 10 and all of the products. As a challenge, once you have completed your whole table, put a square around the one that is a square. All right, that's the classroom material, so let me restore it really quickly. I would never do it like that in the classroom, but for the sake of time. All right. <clears throat> Here is what you will use for your multiplication board at home. It has a lot of similarities, some differences to our board. Along the top, we do have the numbers 1 through, sorry, 1 through 10. And along the side here, we also have the numbers 1 through 10. Now at home, you won't have 100 of these most likely, these beads. But there's a number of things you could use to practice at home. Um, 
Today I'm going to use popcorn kernels. You might also use dried beans. You could use any number of small things that aren't going to be too difficult to handle and won't roll away. All right. Now to mark my multiplier, you probably also don't have a clear red disc such as that. If you do, awesome, use it. If not, just choose something. I have here a yellow eraser and I'll just use that to mark my multiplier and move it along as I go. And for this one, I'm going to do the multiplier, the multiplicand of three. So again, I'll open my math booklet to the next blank page. And I will begin with three times one. One, two, three. Three times one is three. See it, say it, write it. Three times two. Three, four, five, six. Three times two is six. See it, say it, write it. Three times three. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Three times three is nine. Three times four, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three times four is twelve. And I would go on and continue with three times five, three times six, three times seven, three times eight, three times nine, and three times ten. Once I have completed recording, my booklet, I meant to mention on the first one, I would use my control chart to check my products in red to make sure that I recorded and counted correctly. Now at home, you might not have that same chart. However, in the previous video, we did have a multiplication finger chart. And this is also available. Um, if not, you can also use any number of device to check your work. Now this multiplication board can be done a number of ways. You can do it the way I just demonstrated by going through with one multiplicand and doing all of its multipliers from 4 times 1 through 4 times 10. Or when that feels like you're getting the hang of it and maybe you're getting used to the skip counting aspect because multiplication is simply repeated addition. Once that's feeling kind of easy, you could take prepared equations from your multiplication finger chart. Draw one out. If you don't know it, build it with your beans or your popcorn kernels, whatever it is. Individual Lego pieces maybe. Whatever you have, at least 100 of that will fit on this board will work for you. And like all memory math things, we're going to of course see it, say it, and most importantly, write it. Happy practicing. If you need to, come back to this video to rewatch it because I'm sure I covered what your question might be. If that still doesn't work, then, then, and only then, feel free to ask your parents for assistance. Catch you later.